and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. In this video we're going to take a look at the Peter and Ned 2 pack from Spider-Man Homecoming. And this is part of the Marvel Legends Beyond Amazing uh, celebration celebration line, are we going to call it? Yes, yeah, for, so for Spider-Man's anniversary. Um, so let's crack this open and have a look what we've got in the package. Um, I'm going to do this video in two parts. In one video I'm going to look at Peter and in the other video I'm going to look at Ned. And this video is all about Ned. Um, so check out my page and you can see the other part of this two part video where I'll take a look at the Peter Parker figure. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, this is all windowless packaging. So I really like the cardboard kind of cases that are inside. I think it's a really good way of holding the figure still. And these little kind of paper see-through bags as well are really nice for keeping the figures safe. However, it is a little bit of a gamble because you can't see what it is that you're purchasing. But this is Ned, and this is a completely new sculpt. Played, of course, by Jacob Batalon. Um, Got to like his name, Jacob. Uh, Jacob's Toys and all that kind of stuff. Um, but he's an awesome character across all of the Spider-Man films. So it's really cool to have a figure of him to put on our displays as part of our MCU Spider-Man display. And as I said, it's a completely new sculpt. And I really like it. I love the shoes. The shoes are really nice. Um, it's a pin this figure. He's got a wristwatch on as well that we've seen with figures such as Netflix's Luke Cage. And he, of course, has the Spider-Man mask. As we saw in Homecoming, where he first discovers Peter Parker's secret, he's holding that Lego Death Star and it, he drops in and it breaks and everything. Um, and then he's got the, the Spider-Man mask on a little bit later. Um, but it's really cool to see that little kind of quirky accessory. And because it's a slightly um, out of shape uh, Spider-Man mask, I'm going to have a lot of fun using that on other figures like Deadpool and stuff like that. Uh, he has a backpack as well, which goes on pretty easy. This is like camo backpack um, and it looks really good on the figure. Um, the head sculpt is really nice. It really resembles the, act the actor's likeness. And I'm actually torn between which one of the, which ones of the head sculpts I'm going to use, whether I'm going to use the, the Spider-Man mask or the unmasked head as such. Um, no, actually, I'm going to use the unmasked head. Um, it'll, just, it'll just go better with MJ and Peter. Um, but it is a really cool little accessory. Um, yeah, I really like that. And it, it really does resemble his head shape as well. They put a lot of thought into this. Uh, they could have easily just thrown in another Spider-Man mask, but that would have not fit as well with the figure. Um, but as far as a figure goes, I mean, it's a civilian clothed figure. So loads of uses for things like action figure photography and stuff like that. You know, shooting him from the back so that he just looks like someone in the crowd. Um, but as an actual figure to make up the Spider-Man MCU, it's kind of one of them ones that everyone wanted a Ned but it's a bit of a random one because these are just civilian figures. Like this is the uh, Peter Parker that I had a look at in the other video, and that's essentially just a Tom Holland action figure. There's nothing about Spider-Man in that figure at all. It is just a figure of Tom Holland. The same as the earlier released MJ, essentially is just a Zendaya figure. So I've got a, an action figure of Zendaya, an action figure of Jacob, and an action figure of Tom Holland. Um, but putting the three together, they look like the trio from the film, and it's really cool. It's just a shame that they haven't updated the MJ sculpt, because both Peter and Ned are both pinless, and the MJ is built on the old moulds, so you can see the pins, it's single jointed elbow, and all that kind of stuff. Although the head sculpt on her is really nice, and we have got two different head sculpts. So you've got the, the ponytail, I think I prefer, so I'm just going to put that on. She looks a little bit, a little bit friendlier, so... Yeah, as a two-pack, these go really nicely with this earlier released MJ. Um, and me, personally, I'm really pleased to have these three on my shelf because even though they are just essentially three people in civilian clothing, they are three big characters in those films. And they do have a lot of screen time across those three films as well. Uh, and it's really nice that we've got the whole trio. If I was going to have any real critique, I would say it's a shame that they don't come with more accessories. There's a whole bunch of accessories that they could have put with them. Um, the various kind of vulture parts that, that was in, uh, what was it, uh, Homecoming. Or maybe even just another alternate head so that we could get a look of uh, the characters from later films. Because as I said, these are based on Homecoming. Either way, they're a real nice addition to the Beyond Amazing uh, line. Um, I'm going to say line, it's not a wave, is it? It's more of a line. But they are a real nice addition to that line, uh, and I think that they're definitely worth picking up if you're an MCU collector. However, if you're a comic book collector, they're not going to make much sense in your collection. Uh, they are quite pricey for what they are, so I think they are ones that you could probably skip if you 
wasn't that interested but I can't imagine we're going to get another Ned figure anytime soon especially now the trilogy is kind of finished uh, I can't imagine we're going to get another Ned so I think that this is pretty much going to be your only opportunity to get a Ned figure uh, for a while anyway they might re-release him later down the line who knows they, they tend to kind of re-release figures a few years later so but I think for now this is going to be your best chance and only chance of getting a Ned figure on your shelves I uh, do check out my page I've done a load of other five minute figure reviews looking at the other figures in the Beyond Amazing line I'll see you soon